This, if you don't know, is Alf Jock. He's regarded as one of the best stick makers around, and he turns pieces of wood into this, and then inevitably into this. So, what uh, what's your take on this event? We got a bunch of people here celebrating the art form of making wooden lacrosse sticks. It's probably, I, I've never been to an event, I've never even heard of an event like this. But yeah, it's, it's an all wooden game. All sticks are wood, there's no plastic out there. It uh, goes back to like when I played in the 60s. And uh, you got to play a little differently, you know, the ball does not hold the stick for you like a lot of modern plastic yeah. sticks do. Uh, you have to know how to cradle, how to, how to handle the ball, and how to throw. It's a whole lot different. But uh, it's good to get this, this is like real retro. You know, if you're talking about going retro, this or that, yeah. this is real retro. Yeah, I'll Wooden give you that. Stick. Yeah, this is great. I mean, well, cool, man, you got one of the biggest crowds around your booth. Yeah. And uh, we won't hold you up, we'll let you get back. Like, I just people like what home. I have here. and um, Everyone likes you, Al. Yeah, well, <laughs> popular guy, I guess. But uh, well, these are all lacrosse people here. What better place to be? Uh, right. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. So it's amazing to see some of the legends out here. We got Coach Gate. How you doing? Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Um, what does it mean to you to see basically a festival celebrating the roots of the game? Not you know so much about its growth and everything, but celebrating the roots and really where it came from, the education of that. I think it's wonderful. It's an incredible opportunity for uh, young lacrosse players, any lacrosse player, to come out and see the, the heritage of the game and. You know, meet, meet the uh, people that um, are the creators of the game. And it's just a um, great experience. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it's got to be something, uh, something special because I've been, I've been doing this for a really long time, and you obviously are a <laughs> legend. <time>, so. <laughs> but uh, I mean, it's interesting to me to be able to go up to a booth and see something I haven't seen. Like, that rarely happens. I go to the lacrosse convention, I've seen all the stuff. Oh, you made a new head. There's some stuff here I've never seen in my entire life. Uh, What's I, that like? It's awesome. I, I have fond memories of when I was a young child and actually traveling and, and picking out my wooden lacrosse sticks that I played with. And just like you, seeing things I've never seen before. I remember uh, some old turtle rattles and things like that that I'm like, how do they do that? And it was, you know, certainly I was amazed as a kid. And, you know, they come out here now and you can see that same turtle. One minute. All right. There's not going to be any penalties. No. Play the ball, guys. Play the ball. He has an expulsion rule. Three penalties. They also have 50 50. Any player that's three penalties. So come on over and support the education swim across underneath. Education tent. No player more than one, one player down. Guys, I'm here with Ron Patterson, another stick maker. Um, how you doing? You enjoying the day out here? Yes. Cool, cool. Why don't you tell the guys what it is you're doing right this second? Right now, I'm putting the leather lacing into the cross stick so I can begin to put the netting into it. Mm -hmm. uh, the stick has just been uh, carved and urethaned, and uh, it's going to be ready to be played with in uh, just just a few minutes here. Sure. Who uh, who taught you how to make sticks? Actually, uh, Russ George was the one who initially got me got me started doing it probably about 20 years ago, mm -hmm. and then uh, I learned a little bit from Alfie Jack, and a lot of it was more or less um, trial and error because they weren't telling me everything. They, you know, there's little secrets here and there yeah. that I had to learn on my own over the last 20 years. And yours, I'm sure, are slightly different than theirs. Exactly. And, yeah. it, it's just like anything, like Nike, Reebok. They're all going to have different styles of uh, equipment, you know, athletic wear and such like that. Same as with uh, the plastics, not just of today, but even the old ones. When mm -hmm. they used to have the Benedict plastics, the Etienne's, the Williams, uh, you know, they were all unique sticks, but um, they were, you know, not one was better or worse than the other. It was just the different style. features, attributes. Yeah. Exactly. How many do you think you make a year? Uh, I'm, I'm hitting right around about. 
talk. You need to about 100 sticks in here. We are here with the Thompson Brothers. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. They just finished an awesome stick expo. So you guys dropping some knowledge on the kids. That's awesome. Uh, so this is kind of your backyard, right? You guys are from this area, General. Yeah, yeah. We're right what's down it like? The road at Onondaga, Onondaga awesome. Nation. Awesome. So what's it like to have everybody out here just uh, you know diving into the culture? I see we got a uh, got Alf Jacques, we got uh, Jack Johnson, some good stick makers and stuff. What's it like to you know take part in an event that really just exposes the roots of the game? Um, I mean, like, like I just like to get the game out there. I mean, our people were the first to recognize the game, so I mean, like, I mean, it means a lot to see all these people come out here and for us to be able to teach them, let them know our history and everything as we go along with the game. We're pretty much telling them everything, like, we're telling them how, what our stick means to us, what the game means to us, and just everything. Even the parents are getting in, asking us questions. Well, that's awesome because uh, there's so many kids out there who have no idea about the roots. You know, they just pick up a plastic stick from Dick Sporting Goods or something. And, um, I mean, I just think it's really awesome what you guys are doing. Uh, who made your sticks? What do you got here? Um, these are MIL sticks. They're from the Mohawk Nation, Akuzasme. Oh, the wood, cool. but my dad, my dad put in the leather. He netted them. Okay, so yours is leather, and yours is uh, this is cross still, right? Leather, yeah, and then cross. Theirs is all leather, but. This one's a little bit different than those ones. Oh, and then you have the uh, polyurethane yeah. sidewall, and then you two, and you as well. Yeah. Yeah. When did you guys get these? Uh, these we've had these for about oh, five or six years now. It's his first production year, and he's making some awesome sticks. I'm here with Jack Johnson. How you doing? Good, you? Just fine, just fine. So, uh, when did you get started? Uh, about a year and a half ago. Went down to see Elfie. Show me all the steps. And uh, this is my first production year, so I'm hoping, you know, we can get some sales. We've been doing pretty good today. Huh? I'm almost sold out. I got one finished, one left. I got goalie sticks. Oh, if you only got one left and you got a two-day thing, I think you're doing all right, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. awesome. So, uh, you know, an event like this where everyone's coming around, this is literally an expo for the art that you do. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what's the main thing if somebody comes up and they ask you, oh, what is it you do? Like, what, what do you want to portray to people? Well, it's just the craft of making it you know like when most people play with a plastic stick you could take any plastic stick pick it up run jump shoot but then you take a wooden stick and you try picking it up try running around it's a, it's harder to play with the wooden stick yeah absolutely. it feels a lot better when you play with it because you see the big wooden goalie sticks and you see a plastic goalie stick you see the guy playing with it, it looks I mean, it looks traditional Make sure you subscribe to our page to stay up to date on the latest Style and Strings projects.